For as long as he can remember, Dan Bazanotti has wanted to cook. I remember back in high school and they said, you want to be an accountant? You want to do this? And I was like, I don't know. I, I think I just want to cook. Why can't I do that for a living? Why can't I do that for work? And come to find out you can. And it is fun and it is a lot of work, but we all have passion and that's the stuff with, that I tell the cooks. And after years and years of perfecting his skills, he's passing on all of his know-how to his team. Hang on, let me show you one. Use the back side of the spatula. We come in every day. We're here early. It's not about the money. I'm going to give you a demo on a Brussels. Ready? It's about having fun and, and creating and learning and, and developing your craft. That's perfect. That's perfect. And now you can taste it all at Bisque. Located in Inman Square, Cambridge, Bisque is a small, stylish spot with a cozy bar in the back for cocktails and a bustling dining room out front that overlooks a busy open kitchen that draws your eye the second you enter the restaurant. When you walk in, you see it, you definitely smell it, which is the best part for the guests in there. It's, it's great. At the bar, you can observe chefs as they slice and plate boards of house-made charcuterie and shuck the freshest oysters around. But the one dish you'll want to watch and then develop Devour is the New Orleans barbecue shrimp toast. It's kind of my baby here. It's something that'll never come off the menu. We'll always have it. After spending time cooking in New Orleans, Dan developed this dish, which combines thinly sliced sourdough bread with shrimp and a zippy barbecue sauce. What we do here is we make a shrimp farce and spread it onto sourdough bread and griddle it nice and crispy and top it with that New Orleans barbecue sauce and a little bit of sexy scallions on top. One bite and you'll be hooked. It's the most rich, buttery, delicious thing that you can probably have. I, I won't lie, it's one of the best bites. Once you have one, you just, even if you're full, you just like want to keep eating it. The ever-changing menu features house-made pastas like delicate parsnip ravioli topped with Swiss chard, roasted chestnuts, and a suckled pear mostarda, or this upscale version of Polish pierogies. The filling is potato, cheddar, scallions, and sour cream. We sear the outside so you have that crispy dough and that soft, supple inside, and then we top it with roasted apples, beer braised red cabbage, and underneath is a little horseradish creme fraiche to give it that little bit of a kick. It's one of my favorite things here. Steak and potatoes are also on the menu at Bisque, but this steak is topped with cipollini onions and a Jonah crab fondue, and these potatoes are far from ordinary. We have these beautiful marble potatoes. They're all different colors. They're a perfect, cute little size, and we roast them with whole cloves of garlic and onion and thyme, and we serve it with a little Aleppo pepper for chili oil, as well as a Kalamata olive aioli on the bottom, a little bit of arugula, and we put a poached egg right in the middle. It, it's awesome. It really is. The pomegranate glazed lamb ribs will make your mouth water, and that's because they're braised for five hours and then quickly deep fried so the outside is crisp and the meat in the middle is tender. When you bite into it, it's got that little fattiness. You get some of that lamb flavor, but it's not overpowering. We've had people come in here and say, I don't like lamb, I don't eat lamb, and then they have the lamb ribs and it's the best thing they've ever had. And if you miss the charcuterie at the start of your meal, don't worry because there's a dessert version offered as well. We do four or five different dessert items, and mainly they're based on stuff that I like to snack on. Currently, we have like a little bit of a lemon bar. Uh, we make a little honeycomb and drizzle some white chocolate on it, pistachio macaroons. We also have our kind of quirky and funny item, which is the Muddy Buddies. And literally, it's Czech cereal tossed in peanut butter and chocolate. I tell people the recipe's on the box. That's the one we use, so it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, and they're delicious. But even more shocking and shockingly delicious is the so-called chocolate salami. It's a ganache-like chocolate where we fold in cream and eggs and then just put a ton of random garnish, just like a regular salami. There's no meat in it. People ask, though. So whether you pop in for a quick bite or make a full night out of it, fun is something you'll always find at Bisque. I mean, it's a fun place to work. It's a fun place to eat. It's a fun place to drink wine. We want to convey that fun and that passion, and that's what we're about. Mm -hmm.